Welcome back. This is the number one breakfast show across Kenya. This, of course, is K24 this morning. Welcome to our social hour. My name is Shiko Kaitani. Thanks a lot for sticking with us. And remember, we are still looking out for you throughout our social media platforms, as well as our WhatsApp line. Engage us on our ongoing discussions right here on the show. And as always, we'll be happy and glad to sample some of your feedback throughout this live broadcast. Now, the big question is, what has staying at home and social distance done to our relationships within the households. Think about it. Well, many may not know, but COVID-19 has forced quite a number of family members to end up trapped, so to speak, with violent perpetrators. Uh, we do know that men are affected by domestic violence, but women and girls being the most vulnerable. Today, we are going to be speaking about the rising cases of domestic violence and what we can do to protect ourselves as well as those that we love. We've got the right team in place to help us out with this particular discussion. Discussion. I'm talking about Hannah Muna, who is a counselor psychologist from LVCT Health. Welcome to the show. Thank you. And of course, a friend to the program, Grace Destiny, is here with us. She is a family therapist and, of course, has a lot to share with us. Can tell us a thing or two about how to relate better within the household. Now, this discussion is so sensitive to the point that we got tons of rejections from GBV survivors because people just could not you know, be able to share their story on live television, including the guests that we had scheduled for today didn't end up turning up. And it's unfortunate, but you do understand their situation and just the idea of sharing something that is so sensitive and so close to home and personal um, sure. would get anyone scared, right. you know? Yeah. And so, mm -hmm. so we respect their space, but if you are very, um, you know, willing to share your story or if you have any questions to ask, we want to welcome you to talk to us. Call us, in fact, because we do have the counselors, the therapists in studio. They are here at your service. So ladies, uh, Karibuni Sana, yet again uh, Grace let me start off with you on okay. this one because the one of the questions people ask is who should you blame is it the victim for staying or is it the abuser both both <laughs> really mm. depends mm. on so many things sometimes it's very easy for someone to come and tell you you are beaten like this what are you still doing there yeah mm -hmm. That is a good question. What are you still doing there? Mm -hmm. And that question should not be like a criticism. Yeah. It shouldn't be like you're trying to show them you're so stupid for staying. Mm. You should sit back and listen. Yeah. Why is she or he still mm -hmm. there? Mm -hmm. Many people have their lives hooked in marriage. Mm -hmm. They don't know how to breathe yeah. outside a marriage. Wow. They don't know where to go, mm -hmm. where to start, mm -hmm. depending on the entry point yeah. and what was happening mm -hmm. before they got into this marriage. Mm -hmm. We have so many women yeah. who have gotten married like a, a, an occupation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. You just want the title, a financial one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. occupation, mm -hmm. where you know, when I get married to this guy, mm -hmm. I have food on the table, yeah. I'll get kids and they'll be fed, they'll go to school, right. and I have a life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if this guy becomes abusive, mm -hmm. you have to calculate, mm -hmm. I'm leaving. Mm -hmm. This is the first time. First of all, mm -hmm. every woman who is in an abusive marriage, yeah. I start with women, because women are mostly affected. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, they are the ones who speak out. Yeah. A woman will say, it, it, it happened, it just happened once. Mm -hmm. He was actually very sorry later. Yeah. That is what they say. Mm -hmm. he, he, he was so apologetic. Yeah. I just feel like I'm the one who drove him into beating me up. Wow. Um, yes. Yeah. I'm the one who provoked him. Mm -hmm. And when you listen to the provocation, mm -hmm. it's actually you are offended. Yeah. Then you reacted. Then he beat you up. And you wonder who was provoking who. Right. Mm -hmm. But when you go down, mm -hmm. it's always good to listen to the background information. Whatever someone is not saying mm -hmm. is actually the truth. Mm -hmm. They will be like, the next time he does it, I'll leave. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Why are you waiting for the next time? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Hold that thought because um, as we introduce Hannah, mm -hmm. one of the things that people don't even know about LVCT, because what we are associated with is obviously um, HIV, um, you know, assistance, care and management. But okay. there is an entire arm that deals with gender-based violence services. Yes. And so, please, um, don't hold back. Tell us what are some of the stats that you're receiving, the data you have collected, especially during this period of COVID-19. What are you seeing? All right. Thank you, Shiku, for yeah. the question. 
And first of all, uh, yes, we are uh, mostly known for HIV. Yeah. But we realize uh, things like GBV yeah. also lead to uh, infections of HIV. Mm -hmm. If you are a GBV survivor, yeah. uh, you, you're higher. You, your rates are higher of getting the HIV infection. Mm -hmm. So um, during the COVID-19 season, we've had um, very many. Actually, yeah. they have increased by around 33%. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So there are many cases, especially of the young girls, yeah. what we call the AGY, AGYW mm -hmm. or the adolescents, girls and young women. Really? Yes. Right. So they are the ones now who are turning up as the victims. Yes. How is it in terms of men? Mm. Men, it hasn't been very, mm -hmm. the numbers are not high as mm -hmm. much as the women and right. the young girls. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The thing is, um, when we talk about being trapped, Grace, mm -hmm. in a home with a violent perpetrator, yep. how can you be trapped in your own home? It's like, did you not know that from the beginning, mm -hmm. this is what could happen? So when you say now you're trapped... The thing is, people are very ignorant, yeah. especially when approaching marriage. Yeah. It is the only institution that has no training beforehand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some mm -hmm. people are lucky to have premarital <laughs> counseling. Yes, but it's not the actual in. experience. It's not actually the yeah. experience. Because, first of yeah. all, we do this mm -hmm. when we're already together. Yeah. We walk into these counseling sessions when mm -hmm. we already made up our minds. Mm -hmm. But I think it's, it's something that we need to, to do awareness mm -hmm. to the girl child, the boy child, yeah. about violence. Because mm -hmm. this is something that catches you up in it. And yeah. you're like, oh my God, mm -hmm. someone just slapped me. Mm -hmm. Someone just poured hot water on me. Yeah. And you're like, first of all, mm -hmm. you look at the benefits of this marriage, mm -hmm. Then you compare with this one act, mm -hmm. you, you actually ignore mm -hmm. the fact that it could grow to a deeper, painful, more painful yeah. experience. Yeah. So you assume it was just a slap. Mm -hmm. So what did I do to be slapped? I will stop. I'll, I'll, change, I'll my change my ways. Yeah. I'll, I'll go, I'll not be talking. I'll yeah. go down, I'll calm down. Mm -hmm. But you forget that if this person is violent, mm -hmm. a violent person is always a violent mm -hmm. person. Because right. the violent person mm -hmm. yeah. is also sick. Mm -hmm. You can't just wake up and beat up people. Mm -hmm. I always ask when people come for counseling, yeah. and a man tells me, I, I don't know why, I'm just a, a, a very temperamental person. Mm -hmm. All right. Ilianzi then I ask this wapi. guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I ask this guy, mm -hmm. do you also go beating people up in your office, in your place <laughs> of work? <laughs> why is it only your wife? Yeah. Do you have big sisters, yes. Do you go slapping them around? Mm -hmm. No. Then why is it about your wife? Yeah. Do you despise her? Do you feel like she's your object? Yeah. It is a psychological thing. Wow. Good point. Mona will hear, point yeah. out that okay mm -hmm. yes. uh, let's rope in our audience at this particular point and um you know everything that um, grace has just mentioned is actually pretty much what we are summing up our question of the day to be and we're asking what really does make a spouse stay in an abusive relationship if you're daring enough to also tell us why you have managed kuvomilia so to speak for the time that you have why have you what makes you stay? Mm -hmm. Is it this thing about you trying to weigh, um, you know, the benefits? You know, you've got the pros and the cons that if I leave, I don't get benefits X, Y, Z. Mm -hmm. All right. Talk to us at K24 TV. And of course, if you'd like to call in, please, uh, you know, call us. We'd love to hear your voice and share your story with us. Um, a question, um, uh, Hannah, uh, that I have for you is mm -hmm. about how people probably don't realize what is an attack or violence mm -hmm. some was like she said it was just a slap mm -hmm. so yeah. they will not classify that mm -hmm. as domestic violence yeah. so what are you telling our audience uh, in terms of how to know this is violence right. or abuse so to speak okay so there are many forms of abuse yeah and i'm sure grace will agree with me yeah. mm -hmm. uh it's all sorts of it can start as verbal abuse mm -hmm. goes to physical abuse before uh, maybe it's sexual abuse mm -hmm. so uh when we say verbal abuse you don't even realize that uh just even telling someone you're stupid you know what mm -hmm. you even your opinion is it doesn't matter you know some form of it's a, some form of abuse right so if you're saying that maybe i talked back to him and that's why he beat me mm -hmm. and you don't realize that maybe he's putting you down with his words he's mm -hmm. telling you you know you're stupid you cannot amount to anything that is abuse wow. because people think abuse is only physical abuse mm -hmm. where i'm beaten or sexual abuse mm -hmm. so even there's even verbal abuse there's even emotional psychological yeah yes on even that part of sexual abuse, many yeah. people don't think there is sexual abuse in marriage. Yeah, Please tell true. us. 
<laughs> yeah, you'll find a woman who has been sexually abused by her husband yes. right. for years. Wow. But she'll never call it abuse. Mm -hmm. She feels it's his right. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's no right in that. Mm -hmm. I was told you. as a wife, yeah. I have yeah. to. It's, it's his right. It's his no right. problem, but you've got to really like agree. Yeah. He yes. can't just come and rape you. Yeah, it's and called you call marital it, rape. No. So, yes. so marital mm -hmm. rape is also... It's, it's common, common, but common. people don't yes. even come out about it. Mm -hmm. yeah. You'll just realize that after someone has been beaten and left the, the marriage, yeah. that's when they are saying, even for many years, he yeah. just used to Had, abuse me sexually. You yeah, are like, true. that mm -hmm. was not a big thing. Yeah. It so the have fact that the leave. wife does not consent or the husband does not yes. consent they yeah. makes feel it feel like they need to ask for consent. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And for sex, uh, consent is an active thing. Mm -hmm. It is something you ask for every day. Yeah. And this is something we try to tell young people. Mm -hmm. Just because I said yesterday doesn't mean today it's yes. Mm -hmm. Just be say, because I said yes five minutes ago doesn't mean it's a yes right now. Yep. Mm -hmm. Consent can be withdrawn anytime, even right. during the sexual act. Mm -hmm. It can be withdrawn. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. How then as a family therapist mm -hmm. do you go about trying to um, bring the man and the woman mm -hmm. to meet halfway because what, do the, what would the man say that, oh, okay, if it's not my right to have it, then I can might as well also pull away the financial support, mm -hmm. what I'm providing for this family. Mm -hmm. I mean, after all, isn't it my obligation to give it to you? I so know. why is it you yeah. giving this to me? It's also not my yes. obligation. I, yeah. uh, the thing mm -hmm. here is, why are you denied? Mm. Why is he or she saying no? Yeah. yeah, it's because definitely there was a misunderstanding somewhere. Mm -hmm. You are not in agreement in a certain situation. Yeah, women are one boxed. Mm -hmm. Men have different boxes about everything. Mm -hmm. A man will insult you in the morning. Yeah, say not to giving you money in the morning. When mm -hmm. he comes in the evening, he wants sex. Yeah, mm -hmm. according to him, sex is in a box. Mm -hmm. Money is in another box. Mm -hmm. Kids are in another box. My True. job is in another box. Wow. But for a woman, everything is in one box. Interconnected. So if you denied me money in the morning, mm -hmm. I'm still cold. Mm -hmm. So what are you do? What are you trying to tell yeah, me? Exactly. And, and that is where we we come in and try to bring communication in. Mm -hmm. Try to understand the psychology of a woman. Yeah. As a man mm -hmm. and as a woman, try mm -hmm. to understand the psychology of your oh, man. Because right. a man will will be like what is wrong mm -hmm. what did i do he mm -hmm. can't remember you had an issue in the morning right. so as a woman it's good to understand your man mm -hmm. and understand how they operate yeah. as a man it's also good for you to understand how women operate mm -hmm. so that we can relate on with each other yeah. on the right platform right but when it comes to 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 sexual abuse mm -hmm. women are also using it as a, a tool mm -hmm. or a, like a weapon yeah. to punish their husbands mm -hmm. and you realize that this is also a, a, a very major thing mm -hmm. in marriages today yeah and many men are complaining because women have said no yeah there are <laughs> effects physical effects emotional yeah. effects mm -hmm. that are switching off women mm -hmm. but i think it's a matter of understanding one another right. if you're really working out a marriage mm -hmm. you must come to halfway and halfway we meet at some point Absolutely. i sacrifice this you sacrifice this and yeah. we come to a point where we can discuss uh -huh. and agree on several points okay. sex is important in marriage it is and very much yeah important. actually the most important the most important <laughs> <laughs> Hannah, one of the things that also you will find that um survivors or people who are actually going through uh, domestic violence struggled with mm -hmm. is being able to have an appropriate response and how to you know get out of it because there's probably someone who's watching right now who's mm -hmm. trying to calculate their steps mm -hmm. uh, how do you advise someone to be able to make their way and do it safely most importantly because now it's a matter of life or death mm -hmm. okay yeah uh when it comes to abuse especially physical mm -hmm. and sexual abuse uh we advise especially the sexual part yeah we advise if you get sexually abused uh, the first point to go to is a hospital. Yeah. After which uh, you're provided with psychosocial care mm -hmm. and medication if it's needed. Mm -hmm. uh, we give medication, uh, what we call PEP, yeah. for prevention of HIV and also uh, uh, medication for prevention of STIs mm -hmm. and maybe pregnancy. Mm -hmm. And also from there you're referred to a police station where you're able to report and also mm -hmm. get your PEP. And right, that right there is mm -hmm. the issue people have. Mm -hmm. Right there. Okay. okay, they will trust the hospital, but reporting the case is another story altogether. You need to talk to us about that, by the way, you know? Uh, uh -huh. The psychology uh, yeah. behind reporting is very difficult. Yeah. One, there's a lot of victimization. There's mm -hmm. also a lot of stigma mm -hmm. uh, that even when you go to the police station, you're not even sure what services you are, you're going to receive. Right. Uh, but it is the right way to, the right channel. Mm -hmm. And 
especially because people say that uh, they, in the past they've seen people who have reported the perpetrators are still walking you know yeah. even from the our studies like you can see uh, that uh, they know the perpetrator they mm -hmm. report but mm -hmm. nothing is taken the police maybe go they beat the perpetrator and then they tell them that you don't repeat that right. it's a sexual it's just a abuse warning. just a warning yeah. and you're left with the perpetrator in the same maybe estate in mm -hmm. the same place mm -hmm. and they're it's they're able even to do the the thing the right again yes. the act yeah. sorry so uh we advise that people uh, especially we get calls mm -hmm. uh from our hotline mm -hmm. uh, where people have been abused and we work, work with them right. we refer to the, uh, them to a specific um center maybe near them mm -hmm. where they, there is a psychosocial uh, counselor yeah after which they get the medication they get their um mm -hmm. treatment, the treatment. Right care exactly. okay i'm trying uh, to imagine yes mm -hmm. In the case of a husband and a wife. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? In fact, let me ask you, in mm. our African culture. That is yeah. it. Who, How do who, I go to the police station to, yes, to, to, to report one last of all? Yeah. Maybe <laughs> he yeah. sexually abused me because we had an argument. Yes. But yesterday I was enjoying the same. Yes. Mm. And I was happy about it. Yeah. Right. And I'm sure tomorrow I'll be okay yeah. and we'll have made up and mm. I'll be... How do I go to the police station and say, my husband raped abused me? Yes. And I'm still in the same house. Right. Yeah. It, it, it is, it is it's different. It's a thin line. It's a thin different. line. Yeah. And this is where we need to empower the person who is being uh, mm. abused yeah. in a marriage setup. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yes, it is not something you should condone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you have to have a way of handling it. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. if this man, uh, like maybe for example, the way she just said, yeah. yes, two minutes ago is not a yes right now. Mm -hmm. Maybe we were okay. You, you texted me during work time and yeah. you told me this and that and I was, we were ready. Mm -hmm. Then you came home and you did something and it put me off. Yes. And I'm like, it's a no right now. Mm -hmm. right. Then we fight over it. Mm -hmm. Then you switch off as the man. I'm trying to say, me as the woman, I said no. Then yeah. the man is like, okay. You, you, we, we were ready, then you are, it's a no, yeah. then I'm not doing this for a whole two months. Mm. And you as a woman, is like, you're like, oh my God, yes. we got over this, yeah. how do we make up again? Yeah. This is a matter of the two of you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is where I usually say, you as a couple yeah. must have a way of coming back together, mm -hmm. making your man know that it is not okay right. to take it from me yeah. without my consent. Mm -hmm. okay. You sure. communicate and, and, it And in the case of powerfully. now where someone is actually being violent, Every do you day. think uh -huh. that's effective? You know, the, the root or the appropriate way to you know, respond to such things as the way Hannah is saying, yes. you, know, you go to the center mm -hmm. first, you, know, you get checked, perhaps it's a hospital, You're right. then report to the police. Mm -hmm. Or do you think it is all these support groups Groups that we need to start talking to mm -hmm. to take in some of these cases the realistically churches, mm -hmm. the yeah mm -hmm. the, the psychologists and counselors yeah. realistically mm -hmm. yeah we have to understand mm -hmm. I've been married for 10 years this has just started the mm -hmm. abuse has started mm -hmm. sexual abuse physical mm -hmm. the guy is physical and everything or the woman is physical mm -hmm. we have to first of all know whether I'm living or not yes yeah I will not go to report my husband or my wife mm -hmm. then I come back to the same house, the house. Yeah. yeah it won't make sense mm -hmm. so we have to it, it, it first things first yes mm -hmm. you have to physically move mm -hmm. away first mm -hmm. then you are safe outside yeah when you're safe outside mm -hmm. you will decide depending mm -hmm. on whether this person will follow you up Yes. If they mm. don't follow you up, right. you can leave it at that. Mm -hmm. You have agreed to disagree, go your way, I go my way. Mm -hmm. But if the person keeps on threatening you and yeah. following you up, that's when you now take the next step. Mm -hmm. But as far as psychotherapy and the help, you need social help and it's psychological, mm -hmm. you've got to go and look for somewhere you can be helped. Yes. And when it comes to reporting, just report when it's life-threatening. And I think you have to want it. Mm -hmm. Yes, You have Definitely. to want the oh, change. Yes. Oh, yes. You know, I think there are some people who are victims mm -hmm. based on what... Um, you know, they have refused to do, which yeah. is exactly. take action. Yeah, yeah. true. So you, you, have to take you're action. putting yourself in that position mm -hmm. and you're too scared to move. You know, another thing that we must also check, there's physical separation and emotional separation. Mm -hmm. True. There's a time you leave the home, mm -hmm. but you remain attached. Mm -hmm. You live physically. <laughs> you live physically, yeah. but your emotions are still attached. Right. Yeah. You got to ask yourself, mm -hmm. why have I been enduring this? Right. Am I psychologically, emotionally dependent on this, this person? Right. True. Can I live without him or wow, her? Wow, they're like a crash. Because those are the things that yes. we run away from. Yes. The whole society will tell you, Grace, leave. Just yeah. get out and go. Mm -hmm. Only you understand how much attached you are mm -hmm. and whether you can breathe outside this marriage. Right. So you've got to deal with the emotions first. Uh -huh. Detach. Okay. Yeah. Start preparing. 
preparing to be away. Mm -hmm. And tell yourself you can live without this because you'd rather live than yeah. die here. That's true. Okay. And remember earlier on today on Interactive, we actually did mm -hmm. um, talk about um, a man who killed his wife over mm -hmm. conjugal rights, uh, mm -hmm. which is quite unfortunate. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's talk about the extent at which this domestic violence can get to, because that's really what we are talking about and trying to put across, uh, uh, you know, to our viewers today. And we've been asking you, what makes a spouse stay in abusive relationship? Remember, it goes both ways. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we know that men don't like to talk about yeah. <laughs> this situation, okay. uh, but women are more open and more forthcoming with this information. Let's see what you have to say via WhatsApp. If uh, one director or other madam director can put it up for us uh someone says i have a question why is it that people always focus on how the woman is mistreated and yet nobody focuses on how some men are mistreated and even insulted by their wives just because he is facing financial strains it's not only the woman who suffers it's just that they cry out to the world for help where does a man seek help in such a situation very good point okay I agree with the psychologist um, that people fear reporting to the police station. Okay. Uh, GBV, there is this, or rather, hi ladies, I'm glad you are talking about GBV. There is this lady, uh, she claims that she's three months pregnant, though she has had miscarriages in the past. The husband left her for another lady whom got pregnant, but unfortunately the other died during childbirth and also the baby died. After her death, the husband came back to the wife, now pregnant. But the thing is, the husband keeps on telling her, Ni, ni you? Nialiwa, the other lady, whenever she's experiencing any pain, you know how pregnancy can be. Sometimes the husband always tells her, si vile ukitoa hizo zingine. Ai. She says she can't leave him because she's an orphan. How can you help her? Any advice for her? Okay, sawa sawa. So um, I think uh, we've seen different scenarios. Mm -hmm. um, I let's start with um, how men are also suffering um, verbally, verbal abuse mm -hmm. in their households. And you can answer where do men go for help? And you know, at least still maintain their dignity. And you know, obviously, you know the ego issue. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. still there, true. right? The boy child, or like the, the way that person acts, is a a victim. A silent victim yeah. most mm -hmm. of the times right. they don't talk and when they talk nobody listens mm -hmm. it's unfortunate mm -hmm. it's such a painful thing but I would like to say that men have been wired mm -hmm. as givers providers and strong people who should be supporting their mm -hmm. wives and their families mm -hmm. but unfortunately mm -hmm. yeah. we have the real life stories mm -hmm. in, on, we took for ground yes for ground <laughs> different true. women have been empowered yeah. sometimes men don't even get jobs the opportunities are less than the ones for women mm -hmm. so men are earning less mm -hmm. mostly than their wives yeah. and you realize that a woman has also a notion that the man must always mm -hmm have mm -hmm. higher salary mm -hmm. or um, mm -hmm. higher mm -hmm. income yes. than, than her. Yeah. So you despise the man mm -hmm. when he comes to the house. I think everything is about socialization. Yeah. How have we been introduced to marriage? Yeah. What is a marriage? Mm -hmm. What is the place of a man? Mm -hmm. Is it only financially that he's needed in the family yeah. or is he also beneficial in other areas? Mm -hmm. I believe that a woman can have a lot of money right. and have no direction. Mm -hmm. yeah. And a man comes in with his head yeah. and helps you to manage and to direct yourself. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of pain that men are going through. Yeah. We have men killing themselves. Nobody is addressing it as much yeah. as when a woman has just been slapped. Yes. I would say the truth. Yeah. But what we need is we need empowerment for the boy child. Well. He needs to be told yeah. that his position is not only financial. Mm -hmm. yeah. He is something more than money. Yeah, because true. also men yeah. are different. Yeah. You find a man who tries to prove a point with money. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that he can produce and prove like he's a man mm -hmm. is by head dishing out money to women yes. so you have also created something in women mm -hmm. that it's about money yes. that makes you a man okay. so let men also be told mm -hmm. that even without money you are still a man mm -hmm. and you deserve your respect All so right. that you don't stay in a marriage mm -hmm. where you are being abused by your wife because of financial restraints Constraint. someone else may be waiting for you outside there yeah. to make <laughs> you even happier <laughs> <laughs> All right, gentlemen, you've heard it from uh, Grace herself on how you can probably tackle that. Yeah. But we've got part two of that particular question mm. coming up, and Hannah will be telling us how you can go about even reporting <coughs> such cases. Remember, we do have Hannah from LVCT Health. Mm. She is a counselor, as well as family therapist Grace Destiny here to just talk to us a little bit about how to relate a little bit better. 
at home. All right, keep talking to us at K24 TV. We're still looking out for your feedback. Please call us, share your stories with us as well. We'd be happy to hear from you today as we talk about domestic violence. Mm -hmm.